My friends, I thank you for coming. You have had news of Nidhogg? Alas, not. Our scouts range far and wide, but they have as yet found no trace of the Great Worm. We dispatched an elite unit of Dragoons to reconnoiter the churning mists, but even they returned empty-handed. A pity. Fear not, Alphano. We shall see the Worm again soon enough. His words at Falcon's Nest attest to that. Indeed, he is like to come sooner than we would wish. I assume Ishgard's defenses are being bolstered as we speak? With all haste, I mean to call upon every able-bodied warrior at our disposal, from the Knights of the Four Houses to the men and women of the Watch. But I did not summon you to discuss strategy. What then would you have of us, my lord? I will speak plain. Now that Nidhogg is possessed of both of his eyes, no mortal force we can muster will repel him. That being the case, we must needs recruit an ally of equal strength. You speak of Hrace, Felger. I do. To whom else could we turn? That he is Nidhogg's equal I do not deny, nor can I name another. But convincing the reclusive creature to do battle with his own brood brother will be... How shall I put this? It will be no small undertaking, yes. Estinian's report was most particular about Hres Velga's unwillingness to involve himself in the affairs of men. But much has changed since your visit to Somal. And if there is even a chance that the dragon may be swayed, I must plead our case. Whatever price the dragon asks of me, I shall pay it. Such was my oath, to defend the people of Ishgard. Come what may, my friends, the battle with Nidhogg will mark the end of my tenure as the acting head of church and state. Will you help me discharge this final duty? We will, my lord. Though I fear our involvement offers no guarantee of success. Come then, we will depart at your leisure. Thank you, both of you. The city is yours, First Commander. My lord, we shall pray for your swift return. <laughs>